Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This is Race Craze here with the 2008 Casey Kane Life Lock Budweiser Dodge. Ran at Michigan Speedway. Um, it is an autographed edition. As you can see, I have done some editing to it by putting paper underneath it because it was black. So, uh, let's start with the box though. We got the uh, Budweiser Life Lock scheme. Uh, again, only ran at Michigan when Dale Jr. won. Um, I thought he probably had a shot at the win if it wasn't a fuel mileage under yellow type race. Uh, I think he he was had a pretty good car and had a chance at it, but um, you know didn't end up happening. It was I mean one of Dale Jr.'s only wins of uh, the last, that four year stretch, so it's a good thing he, uh, Jr. could get one there. Obviously, I would have preferred Kane, but uh, Casey Kane, Life Lock, Budweiser, 2008 Charger, one of 747. So not a ton of these out there. It is the autographed edition, so you get this little card in there as well. On to the diecast here. Take a good look at this one. Um, so this one is a pretty nice one. I've got a couple of small little things on it, but uh, down the left side here is just plain red. Nothing else, nothing graphic-wise on there. Uh, white skirt, white splitter. Uh, down the left side here, number nine, we've got Budweiser. I do have one small scrape scuff type thing there. That is a defect. I don't know where that was caused. This is secondhand. I didn't buy this brand new, so um, so I think it came like that, but to me at least. Uh, Casey Kane on the name rail. we got Valvoline. Uh, Dodge, Budweiser, Allstate, then the White Wing, and then uh, we got Life Lock Insurance on the back here. Or not Life Lock Insurance, Life Lock um, Identity Protection. We got Allstate, Budweiser, and we got the Charger logo. Fuel cell in the back. We did number 266. Uh, we got the red number nine on the roof, which I, I like this. I thought this car looked great with the, the white and red. I think that's a good combo for this car. Actually, they went to running uh, the splitter white. Uh, with the red car, uh, second half of 2009 and all of 2010. Um, but I, I just always thought that was cool to have the red number uh, on the white roof. So uh, I always thought that was a cool looking car. But um, onto the right side, it's the same as the left. Nothing crazy there. We got Budweiser Dodge. You can see the white, um, the white skirt there, number nine. Uh, good looking number nine. I always liked the the number nine car when Elliot and Kane drove it and Almarola for a few races. Uh, we got Dodge Charger on the front here. There you can see the splitter spokes. We got Life Lock Budweiser there. Uh, there's the signature up there on the windshield. As I said, I always put the paper underneath it if I can't see it. So that's what I did. Underneath the hood, there you can see our engine detail. We got the red headers for the Dodge motor. Uh, and then we got some other belts and hoses in there. Um, good looking detail. We got Budweiser under the hood there. Um, obviously not as good as the Gen 4, but not as bad as the Gen 6, so, you know, right in the middle. Um, but overall, this is just, uh, one of my favorite cars. One, it's autographed, which is cool, but I thought this car looked so great with the white. I just think the red and white was a good combo, and I think Bud, uh, Budweiser should have experimented with it a little bit more. Maybe have a, you know, a, a red and white car, um, kind of like some of those junior all-star cars that they ran. Um, there's just something good about a red number on a white roof or on a, you know, the red and white. I always think that looks good. Um, so unfortunately they only ran it the once, but, um, it is still one of my favorites, uh, in my King collection. There's a few of them that I really like. This is one of them. Uh, one of the only COTs he ran 2008, it was the Budweiser standard scheme and this, and that's it. He did not run any other schemes all of 2008 or 2009, I believe. Um, I have to double check, but he did not run many schemes in those two years. Budweiser sponsored all the races, and they didn't vary their paint scheme up too much. So, um, But anyway, that'll wrap up this diecast review. Pretty short one. I do have a few Mopar schemes and stuff to do before I get um, too much of my stuff moved, so you'll be seeing some of those here coming out. Um, but yeah, like this one will be personal collection, so no, uh, no, no bother looking on eBay for this one. This is not going anywhere, but... Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Uh, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And, um, yeah, this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you all in the next Diecast Review.